there are also going to be some experiences of anxiety, loneliness, feelings of isolation, and it's okay to allow for space for all of those things to exist. I'm Dr. Joy, and I'm here with In The Know. If you can have a little bit of a schedule, it can really help for your days to kind of hang together better. And also making sure that you're paying attention to your sleep schedule. So it can feel really easy to kind of have these really late nights because you may not have to get up for a certain thing in the morning. But it is still important to make sure that we're getting restful and restorative sleep so that our body can continue to function. So it will be important to make sure that you are still establishing really firm boundaries, um, especially with other adults in the home, right? So it can be helpful to post your work schedule so that people know when you're going to be available and when you're not going to be available. I think you have to just be very creative with how you're staying connected to your family and, and other loved ones. Um, you know, we all know about like the Netflix party, so everybody gets together and watches things or um, using apps like House Party to get together and play games. People are getting very creative with virtual kinds of things. Um, so people are going on things like museum dates. So some museums have like made uh, virtual tours of their museum spaces available. So people are meeting up at a certain time and then going on a virtual tour of the museum together, which I think is very cool. There are also going to be some experiences of anxiety, loneliness, feelings of isolation, and it's okay to allow for space for all of those things to exist. So I want to first normalize that it's a very common experience that lots of people are having. So something that may be helpful to do whenever you're dealing with difficult emotions or when you feel like your emotions are overwhelming you for something could be to build a coping kit. Um, and I like to do this with clients. A lot of people find it really helpful to have a collection of items that will help you to allow the intensity of those emotions or of that experience to dissipate for a little bit. So it's not necessarily going to make you forget about it, but it does help the intensity to not feel as extreme. Um, so some things that you may wanna include in your coping kit or a candle or a lotion in a scent that feels good to you, that smells good to you, that may have some relaxing properties. So things like lavender, um, whatever your favorite scent is that may be good to have in your kit. It could also be really helpful to have pictures or letters or old birthday cards or things that help you to, to remember more pleasurable experiences. So fun times you had in childhood or fun times you've had in high school or college um, so that you are kind of remembering some of those times that you felt, you know, more connected to people and can help to bring a smile to your face. All of those things could be helpful to just have in one place and, you know, to actually put them all in one place in a box is helpful if possible so that when you need it, it is already there and ready to go.